Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Undertale. I can't believe I'm finally getting to say that. In the last episode, we fell down a hole and we met a goat mom and an evil flower and some other things happened. I'm just realizing just how weird this stinking game is. And in this episode, we are going to continue on through this mini dungeon. Hopefully, we won't get in trouble with Toriel once it's over. And we'll just see where the road takes us. Very purple road. I do like all the purple, that's for sure. And hello, ghosty. Uh, zzz, it's a sleepy ghost. Are they are they gone yet? Zzz, this ghost keeps saying zzz out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Moving it with force? Uh, no. Can I just walk around it? No, I cannot. Okay, so he's just pretending to sleep. Uh, are they gone yet? Zzz, I wish I could speed through text. That's not an option though. Move it with force? Yes. Here comes Naps, Naps, Stab, Look. Okay. Uh, act. Let's uh flirt with it. I just weigh you down. It's crying. <laughs> we have to avoid the tears. What is this binding of Isaac? Uh, let's see. So how about we cheer it on? You gave Naps, Stab, Look a patient smile. Really not feeling up to it right now, sorry. Uh, I believe I've heard that line before. Uh, what if I cheer it on again? You told Napstab look a little joke. Eh, eh. Oh jeez, crying again. Get out of the way. Okay, pretty easy to avoid. Cheering seems to have improved Napstab looks mood again. What does check do? I just like, but yeah, okay, it doesn't seem to have a sense of humor. Oh, I'm real funny. I guess that does Oh god, oh god. Jesus, oh god! Oh no, 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 no! Oh, man. So, uh, I actually can take damage in this game. Cheer! Uh, wants to show you something. Let me try... Upside down. What? Tears going to another... I call it a dapper fluke. Do you like it? He cried himself a hat. Eagerly awaits your response. Uh, cheer. Oh, gee. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Well, that worked. Uh, we got two different pathways. Let's go up here. Uh, that looks like progress. This looks like... Yay, dead end! Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. <laughs> what? Uh, leave 7G in the web? I don't have money, do I? I have 3G. Uh, I don't have any, sorry. Leave 18G in the web. I don't have any. You didn't have enough gold. I assume I can only get gold by fighting enemies, but I'm not supposed to. I'm just gonna fall by the game's rules, because, like, I don't think that was a spoil spoiler. That's how the game was advertised before it was even released, saying a game where you don't have to fight anyone. So, I'm gonna go through it just in that way, because I uh, want to... I'm always like a stickler for following the rules, and of course, if you've seen my Walking Dead or uh, Detroit Become Human LP, uh, you know that I love being the pacifist, so I'll try my best to do that. Did you miss it? The spider bake sale down to the right. I tried to participate, but I didn't have enough money. Can we eat food made by spiders? For spiders. Of spiders. Wait, food of spiders? Ew, I don't want to. Ribbit, ribbit, sigh. My friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing circle. Ooh, okay, that's right. Pressing circle. Well, at least you listen to me. I wonder if something would have something would have changed in this dialogue if I uh went through circle. River Ribbit side, my friend never listens to me. Oh no, not you too. Yeah, it actually does happen. Um uh, it's weird though, I can't just hold down the circle or like I can't press circle over and over to advance through the text. I like have to press circle to have that text box end quickly, but then I have to go back to X and then advance to the next one. That's kind of weird. And an enemy! Oh, what the? A Vegetoid came up, came out of the earth and I forgot to heal back there. Oh, what do we got? Let's talk to- how about dinner? You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens! And there's a bunch of beans and hello, okay. I do like, I kind of like the, 
thing. I wasn't sure about the avoiding damage thing at first, but it's actually kind of funny. Uh, I don't want to devour it. Let's talk to it. Plants can't talk, dummy, said the plant. Banana! Oh god. Evil bananas, what the fruit? Uh... Vegetoids, here for your health. So, does that mean I should eat it? I, no, I'm gonna get in trouble. Huh. I'm scared. I don't wanna. Mercy, spare. Wait, farmed locally, very locally. Oh, so I can't always just say mercy to get out of a battle. What do I do? You tried to eat Vegetoid, but it wasn't weakened enough. Contains vitamin A! I wish I would just let the letter A falling down. Hmm. So... Huh... Let's just... Well, I get in trouble for fighting, period, or just the matter of killing them. That's the bad thing. Let's find out, I guess. Oh, what the fruit? Miss. Contains vitamin... I need to aim it? What the fruit? This ain't no RPG. Oh, God. Uh, but I just want to give a serious smile. So, I guess it... Oh, it tells me, like, how much damage I want to do. Okay. Fresh morning taste. Avoid all this jank. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Uh, it smells like steamed carrots and peas. Let's fight it again. 17 damage. Farmed locally. Very locally. I'm trying to understand how this game works. Like, do they want me to fight or do they not want me to fight? Cackle softly. Let's act. Let's see if I can devour it now. I tried to eat Vegetoid, but it wasn't weakened enough. God darn it. Fresh morning taste. I'm actually getting game over. Uh, let's see. Fight it once more. That should be weak enough, come on. And like, I don't know how Devour is gonna magically be better than, uh, killing or whatever. It seems kind of bruised, so let's Devour. Took a bite out of Vegetoy. You recovered five HP. You won, you earned zero experience, zero gold. Did it, I assume it doesn't count as killing it because I didn't get experience. Uh, I never talked to you. Ribbit, ribbit, I heard using orders can add some color to the world. It, used, it seems you can choose them in the settings menu before you load your game. However, there isn't a frog-themed border, so it's just pointless, Ribbit. That'd be funny if you unlock a frog-themed border when you beat the game or something like that. Ribbit, Ribbit, I have heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. Wait, what? A monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. Okay... What do you think of that? Very, it's, wait, it's very helpful. What? Oh no, it's very helpful, it's bad. Uh, it's very helpful. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day, you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. What, so there's no point? What, oh no. Rain, hello? I just realized that it has been a while since I have cleaned up. Yeah, it's been like a whole day since I uploaded the last episode. Uh, I was not expecting to have company so soon. There was- there are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You could pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday, you might see something you really like. You will want to leave the room of your pockets for that. Hmm. Huh. So, I don't know if you- Um, one thing Earthbound is famous for is having very small item, uh, storage. I don't know if you get a traveling party in this. I do know some of the characters, but I don't know if they're, like, your main characters, like, that you travel through the game with. Or if it's just this human for the entire time. Uh, let's see. There's just one switch. Huh, okay. Well, I know what those lead to. Something tells me I have to do it anyway, so... Oh, god darn it. Uh, Luke's drew near! Okay, his name is Luke's and he looks at you. Uh, pick on, don't pick on. Finally, someone gets it! And... Does a attack. I thought he was gonna be nice. Luke's is gazing at you. Pick on. You little snipe. What? Oh, Jesus. Oh, uh, I'm not gonna be good at this. Luke's is gazing at you. Uh, ooh. -wee. So, the middle is minor damage? 
trying to figure that out. Like, do you want to do... Is it green for... Is red like a lot of damage? Let's find out. Red is weaker, so the middle is... Oh god. Oh jeez. Right, We're at 1 HP! We should get out of here! Flee! Escape! Well, that just happened. I really should have healed before all this happened. Okay. But wait, there's a ghost down here again, so... Let's see if I could get back down there. And, oh, there's some other things as well. Evil Carrot! Vegetoid came out of the earth. Oh, god, I don't have the HP to even fight this thing. I'm gonna try it anyway, because I'm stinking dumb. 22 damage. Fresh morning taste. Uh, I apologize for, like, not... I don't know what battles to cut out, because, like, I feel like all of them are important, but then now I'm starting to realize that not all of them are all that important. Contains vitamin A. Everybody say A, A. I like that attack is the easiest to avoid. Uh, do we need to hurt him a little bit more? Uh, don't kill it! Part of a complete breakfast. Part of a complete breakfast, I get it. Oh jeez, oh that was a close one. Seems kind of bruised. Act. Devour. Took a bite out of Vegetoid. You recovered 5 HP. You won! Let's see if we can go back to the ghost. Uh, what was I going in the middle? I just fall into oblivion? Oh, there are multiple room oh god. I fell down a hole. Now I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait, ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh well. And he's gone. Well, this one's where the switch is, but of course. Vegetoid, I could fight you some more and get some more HP. So I'm understanding the concept a bit and fall into the uh way the world works and stuff. Don't get damaged while I'm fighting the Vegetoid, that would be very unfortunate, like, lack of progress. Part of a complete breakfast, I do like this attack, yep. Alright, that's the easiest one to avoid. Oh god, so you have to be like, you have to be good at RPGs, uh, choice, uh, driven games. You have to be good at like, the space shooter ones, like avoiding those attacks, it's basically what it's like, it's like Galaga or something. Like, they expect a lot out of you. Take a bite out of Vegetoid, you recover 5 HP. You won. Cool. Uh, let's go down this hole. Uh, we got a shrimp? You found a faded ribbon. Is this like an equip item? Faded ribbon info. Faded ribbon. Armor defense 3. If you're cuter, monsters won't hit you as hard. Uh, how do I equip it though? You equip the ribbon. I guess that's it. It's just gone. The bandage is here instead. Bandage heals 10 HP. Uh, it has already been used several times. So now th my original equip item is now a healing item. That's interesting. Uh, go up here now. Go down here. And what do we got? Evil Carrot. So we're basically fully healed at this point. Getting good at this game. I, I could learn things every now and again. And I'm going to bet we're going to get in trouble for, uh, what the fruit? My gosp crawled up close. Mold small and my, okay. Uh, oh, okay, so his text is yellow, so we can mercy, we can spare him. Swing your arms, baby. What the heck? <laughs> he just dances there? He doesn't have a care in the world. Uh, the other guy's just gone, so let's act. Let's talk to him. Hiya! Doesn't have a care in the world. Not anything else I could do. Let's try attacking him. Uh, one of these days I'm gonna accidentally like hit an enemy that has like one HP or something like that. I don't like this. Let's go in, fight it again. 13. Being me is the best. Oh, he's so happy. Uh, anything else I could do? Uh, wait, his thing is yellow now. I could spare. And you won. Okay, so I just lower the HP enough to where they want mercy. Interesting. Okay. So even if they don't initially want it, like the uh, super nervous flies or whatever, then I can make them want mercy by just attacking them. It's so weird that you could get through the entire game like that, like it's just level one. Is it gonna get harder? 
I wonder if it's gonna get harder like in just RPG standards like the enemies and attacks are gonna be more difficult so you might want to kill some enemies or if it's just gonna be emotionally difficult like you're gonna be in scenarios where you don't want to do mercy or something like that I don't know and what are these things uh, it's a switch press I thought it was a person uh, not yeah there's a thing up here be like don't touch the blue switch the far door is not an exit it simply marks a rotation in perspective what uh, it's a switch. Press it. Sure. Nothing happened. Great. Well, something happened. So, I'm gonna attack- Oh wait, no, I didn't want to attack Mold Small. Obey the Overmind! Sexy Wiggle. What the fruit? Uh, what's this game rated, by the way? Uh, it's rated Fan Gamer, according to the box. It doesn't have a rating by the ESRB. That's awkward. Um... Let's see. Mercy, if it's spare him. Swing your arms, baby. So, is he happy when- uh, he's the only one on the field. Uh, oh, I could mercy him now? Interesting. Well, I let him show off and then that was enough for him. To switch, press it, yes. Nothing happened. Sorry if there's not a whole lot to talk about, like, I'm just, like, trying to experience the game on my own, like, this year has had not a lot of blind LPs, but we have Walking Dead, Detroit, and now Undertale. So, I don't know, I'm just not a very blind LP person in general. I was sort of going back and forth as to whether or not this would make a good blind LP because it's- I assumed it was going to be an RPG, so I was very against it at first, um, of having it be blind because the only blind LPs that I like to do are the ones that, um, involve, like, story-driven things, so I'm going to beat the game regardless, there's never going to be a part where I'm stuck on anything because it's just like advancing through a story and experiencing it for the first time. Like, I would never- hello. I would never want to LP a Mario game blind or a Zelda game blind. But with this, I thought it was going to be a story-driven thing. But it's still, like, an RPG, so I'm, like, solving puzzles and stuff. Uh, believe it or not, my Let's Play of Rockwind originally was going to be blind, but I was just... Uh, a, I was playing a beta version of the game, so I wanted to show off the game as best as I can, so... I didn't want to have to... I didn't want to show off things that like didn't represent the game well or anything. I wanted to have it look all organized and everything because I was a beta tester for that game and I just wanted to make sure it looked nice and everything. Both their attacks appear at the same time, so that's actually disturbing. Um, what was I trying to say is that um, I wanted to make the game look as nice as it possibly could because I was a beta tester for it and I really wanted to have people interested in the game and stuff. So I was doing it for that case, so I decided to redo the entire LP, I, uh, it's, I think it's the only LP that I've, uh, Mario Kart Double Dash, but I'm not gonna get into that, it's the only LP that, like, I, uh, willingly redid, just because I wanted to make it look better, so, but that's the sort of thing with this game, is that there are multiple endings, like I said, my first one, my first go-around of this game will probably be kind of boring, or just commentary-wise, it might be kind of weird, so, for that reason, uh, you may not, uh, entirely like this one, but maybe you'll enjoy a let's play of me not doing it blind anymore uh, When things are better and stuff. I don't know if you know what that, any of that means it just like you notice there was a blue switch behind the top column It's a switch press it sure you hear a clicking sound Okay, that was a say if you can read this press the blue switch and an enemy Ooh, two vegetoids Hit it. So yeah, that's sort of my thing is that, um, this will not be my only go through, so I assume I'm gonna like the game, and I'll, I will want to continue on into multiple playthroughs, but just for this first one, I wanted to be blind, and then in the future, I'll probably be looking up everything and watch other people's playthroughs and learn more and more about it, and then I'll go through it and explain, like, what you want to do for certain things and stuff, if that makes sense. Hi! Um, let's devour him. Uh, it wasn't weakened enough. Oh wait, I didn't do it. Contains vitamin A, part of a complete breakfast. See, so yeah, that's kind of interesting that more dots appear on screen. What? That wasn't enough? God darn it. Just do a weak attack. Uh, don't kill it, thank you. Uh, farm very locally and ouch. God darn it, whatever, I'm gonna get healed anyway. Act. A. Devour. B. Excited. B. B. Excited. Yeah, now it's a lot calmer. I get it. I get it. I'm understanding things. So I apologize if there's just not a lot of room for free range commentary. This is a very intense RPG battling, I'll say that much, just because of having to avoid these little beans of death when we're down here. Uh, that's kind of Akko Taco. 
I uh, probably need to do one more attack. Part of a complete breakfast. They're just raining down. Uh, yeah, we need to attack one more. And that should be good. Now, let's not get hit so we can get a full recovery, and I won't even have any need for that silly save star. Act, devour, and we're good. 5 HP, we won. I do like that there's an enemy like that. Oh god, so many switches. We can read this, press the red switch. Okay. Even though it's a trap, it's a switch. Press it, yes. You heard clicking sound. Well, we'll just go with it. Uh, blue switch. And that happens, of course. Up here, what do we find? If you can read this, press the green switch. There is no green switch. I assume it's like behind here? Nope. And oh, we're all the way back here. Ugh. Is that supposed to be green? That's yellow. Stinking first off. Go all the way back. I swear to God, if what I'm looking for isn't behind this stinking column, I'm gonna be angry. It's a switch, press it, yes. You hear a clicking sound. And another enemy. A pair of Lukes. So I think from here on out, not from here on out, but like, if I'm not having anything to talk about, I'm probably gonna start cutting out battles because it's not as easy as just mercy and run away. So uh, I do get money though, um, I've noticed, so I could actually buy things now. Oh, I wonder if I should go back to the spider house. Hmm. I actually kind of want to do that, so I'm going to cut away now and go to the spider house, give him some money, and then I will meet you guys back over here. So, see you guys in just a moment. Oh god, that was a clutch move. I was itching my nose and I was like able to get to it quick enough, but then it wasn't no- it didn't matter in the end. Back over here, how much money do we have? Uh, 19G? Uh, leave 7G in the web? Yes. Uh, some spiders crawled down and gave you a donut. How nice. <laughs> uh, leave 7G in the web? No. Leave 18G in the web? I don't have enough. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to go and do some off-screen training. I didn't think that would be a thing in this game, but sure enough. Cutting away! Another thing I don't like about not knowing where enemies are is that I have to just keep on walking around and hope that they appear so I can grind off of them. Okay, back with 24G. You're gonna give to the big web now. Some spiders crawled down and gave you a jug. Interesting. We got a spider cider. Okay. Spider donut is heals 12 HP. A donut made with spider cider in the batter. And then just straight up spider cider. Try something that five times fast. Uh, heals 24 HP. Made with whole spiders, not just the juice. Oh god. Uh, kind of regret getting this now. Maybe, I thought it was going to be like a story thing, but no, maybe it was just a shop in the end. Who knows? You knows. I don't knows because this is blind. Okay, back to the end of the pillars. Pillar is now banned from this household! Back over here. Is the end of the corridor? I don't know when I'm supposed to be ending these episodes off because like, that looks like a final area. So how about we go over here? Yay, sort of a dead end. Ribbit, ribbit. Just between you and me, I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her, Ribbit. You're afraid of her or afraid in general? Huh. And then up here is... Okay. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. Oh no, I thought you were in the other room. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try and surprise you like this. Er, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Oh, uh, what's in the other room real quick? Hopefully I won't get in trouble for disobeying her right now. Oh god. Just run in here real quick, I wanna see what's in here. Interesting. Ooh, this is the... PS4 theme. Now I gotta say, like, um, when choosing between PS4 and a Nintendo Switch, I don't know if you could still get this, but if you get the collector's edition on PS4, this might have only been for pre-order, so I apologize if this isn't available. Teresa, can you tell us if this is still available or not? Yay! But you get this beautiful stinking- actually, I don't have to tell you about it, I can just show you right here, the power of the PS4. You get this beautiful stinking, uh, PS4 theme. 
this has been my main theme ever since I pre-ordered it way back um, last year at PAX, uh, not PAX, at E3, uh, when they announced it. And I love this song, I love these buildings, like, when I saw this for the first time, I was just like, I wanted to play Undertale so stinking badly, I wanted to know where this city was, where all those, what, all the people are who reside in this town. I'm probably making a much grander deal of it than I probably should, it's probably just like a nice little backdrop, but when I heard this song, it was just so magical, and I really, really wanted to play it, and I finally got the game, and I had to keep it in storage for like a year because I still wasn't ready to LP it. But we're finally here and it's really singing cool. So we got a knife right here. You found the toy knife. So it's another item. Okay. Uh, what do we got here? Toy knife is an equip item I'm sure. Toy knife, weapon attack 3, made of plastic, a rarity nowadays. Uh, let's go and equip it. But here's the question. If I'm trying to keep enemies alive, should I not equip weapons? That's a thing I could think about. You equip toy knife. And then the stick. What's that info? Stick. Weapon attack zero. Its bark is worse than its bike. Her, her, her. Oh, but yeah. This is like such a cool area. I'm sure we're going to find out more about this later, but I don't know. This place holds a lot of significance for me as someone who's never played Undertale because I just, I've spent so much time staring at this wallpaper and just being so excited to finally play it and yeah we're finally here we're finally playing undertale now that we've sort of come full circle in a way maybe per maybe perhaps maybe this would perhaps be a good time to end the episode off next time on undertale we're gonna meet up with toriel and see what surprise she had in store for us this is midnight and beyond and i will see you all later good night